Working with data. Data is one of the most important aspects of Visio 2013. Without the data capabilities that the program contains, it will be nothing more than an overdressed smart art or chart creation program like you see in other office programs such as Word. While it's true that Visio 2013 gives you all the tools you need to create all types of drawings and customize the look and feel of each, the true benefit of Visio lies in the data tools that it provides. Flowcharts and diagrams are only mere drawings without data to back them up, and Visio gives you all the methods that you need to incorporate and link to that data. In this lesson, we'll learn about the different types of shape data, how to view shape data, shape data attributes, linking diagrams to external data sources, updating diagrams with refreshed data from external sources, linking data to shapes, creating predefined and custom reports, creating hyperlinks to link shapes to websites and local files. Shape data is data that describes properties of your shape. There are eight types of shape data in Visio 2013. These are string, which is freeform text, number, which is numeric data, fixed list, which is a drop-down list that allows viewers to choose an option, variable list is a drop-down list that allows viewers to choose an option or add some of their own by filling out a text box, duration, which is time expressed in either seconds, minutes, hours, days, or weeks, date, which is a calendar date, currency, which is money units based on the user's region and language in Windows, Boolean, which is true or false. To view shape data, right-click on any shape, and then select data. You'll see the data submenu. Then select shape data. The shape data window appears on the top right. If it's too small for you to read, you can resize it by hovering over the edges and clicking and dragging. Earlier in this course, we talked about shape data. We also talked about how to add shape data to your shapes. The last section should serve as a review as we learn more about shape data. You can also add data fields for a Visio shape. For example, maybe you want to add the warehouse location for the chair selected in this example. To do this, right click on the shape, go to data, then click on define shape data. You'll then see the define shape data dialog box. Click the new button for a new attribute. Let's discuss the information you'll need to enter in this dialog box. Label is the field name. Type is one of the eight data types we discussed earlier in this lesson. Format will determine how your data will be presented. Value is the value entered when a shape was defined. Prompt is a tooltip that appears when the mouse is over the new shape. Type in the values and click OK when you're finished. The new attribute appears in the shape data. You've already learned how to manually enter shape data in Visio 2013. However, you can also link to data from external sources, such as a spreadsheet, database, or other source. While linking data to external sources was complicated and confusing with prior versions of Visio, Visio 2013 makes it a lot easier. All you have to do is link the diagram to a data source, then link individual shapes to that data. Let's learn how to do this. First, go to the Data tab and click on Data Graphics. Remove the check mark that comes before Apply after linking data to shapes. Next, go to the Data tab and click on Link Data to Shapes. You'll enter the Data Selector Wizard. Select where the data is located, then click Next. Locate the data file, then click Next again. And now, select the range you want to use and click Next. You'll then be asked to specify what columns and rows you want to include. You can leave all columns and all data selected and then click Next. If you update the data in the external data source, the data in your diagram can also be refreshed. Visio 2013 asks you to choose how you want to identify changes in the data. Since our rows have unique identifiers, such as the column headers, we specified that. Click Next. Now click on the Finish button. You'll see the rows below in your drawing. Drag a row of data to the shape to link that data to that shape. Once you have data linked to an outside source, you need a way to refresh that data to reflect additions, subtractions or changes. The first step in doing this is to make the changes in the external data source, then saving those changes. 
Using this example, we would make changes to our Excel workbook. Now go into Visio and go to the Data tab and click Refresh All. Click a button and not the arrow for Refresh All. Visio will then look at the data from the link source. You'll see the results in the Refresh Data dialog box. Click Close. Earlier in this lesson, we talked about linking diagrams to external data. Now we're going to learn how to link data to shapes. For this example, we're going to use a new process map. To do this, go and create a basic flow chart as we've done in earlier lessons. Now we're going to assign sequential numbers to each process shape. We're going to assign 12 to the first process shape in the process number field and 13 to the second shape. Click on the first process shape and enter the number 12 in the process number field. Select the second process shape and enter 13 in the process number field. If the shape data window does not appear, right click on the shape, select data and then shape data. Now. Make sure that your diagram is linked to the external data using the steps we learned earlier in this lesson. To do this, click on the Data tab and go to Link Data to Shapes. Select Microsoft Excel Workbook. Browse to the file that you want to link it to, which is the same as a previous diagram. And then click Next. Click Next to select Sheet 1 for the data range. Use all columns and all data once again. Select both items in the window here and click Next. Then click Finish. Now you've done this, go to the Data tab and click on Automatically Link. You'll then see this wizard. Click on the Next button. Go to the Data column and select Process Number. In the Shape field, select Process Number as well. Click on the Next button. You'll then see a summary of your choices in the final window. Click Finish. Now that you've entered data into your drawings, you'll want to be able to view that data when you need it. You can do so by running reports. To run a predefined Visio report, go to the Review tab and click on Shape Reports. You'll then see the Reports dialog box. Click on the flowchart to select it. Click on Run. Choose the format for viewing your report. Excel means the report will be presented in Excel. HTML means the report will be presented in Internet Explorer. However, it will be read-only. Visio shape means a new shape will be created to hold your report data. This shape is an embedded Excel object. XML means the report will be presented in an XML file. For this example, let's choose Excel and click OK. This is a flowchart report. An inventory report will count the occurrences of every shape on a page. That session of this course talked about predefined reports, or types of reports that come with Visio 2013. You can also create your own reports. Let's learn how to do this. Go to the Review tab and click on Shape Reports. Click the New button. In the screen that pops up, select Shapes on the current page and click Next. Choose the data that you want displayed in your report and click Next. Click Sort to determine the order of the data in your report. You'll then see the Sort dialog box. Choose how you want your data sorted and then click OK. Click Next in the Report Definition dialog box. You can now choose to save the report in a drawing or in a file. Click Finish. In the Reports dialog box here, click on Run. Choose your report format, such as Excel, and click OK. The report will then be shown. As well as linking to data, you can also link to websites and documents. We'll learn how to create hyperlinks to documents in the next section. For now, let's focus on hyperlinks to websites. To create a hyperlink to a website, start out by selecting a shape in your drawing. Next, right click on the shape and click hyperlink. You'll then see the hyperlink dialog box. Click on the top browse button. 
And then from the menu that appears, select Internet Address. If this window appears, it just means a security warning has popped up asking you to open a browser. Click on Yes. A web browser will open for you. Type in the web address of the site you want to link to. You can minimize the browser and the address is then filled into the address box. Click on OK. Now when you click on that shape it will open up a link to that website. You follow the same beginning steps to create a hyperlink to a document as you did when you created one to a web page. Right click on a shape in your drawing and select hyperlink. Click the browse button to see this menu. Now select the local file. As you can see the file type is selected to Visio files. Click on the downward arrow to look for other file types. Otherwise, if you see the file you want, click on it once to select it and then click open. And now click OK. Now when you click on this first shape here, it will take you to that file.